So how did you find this year's experience on Center Stage? I thought it was great. It was um, what I liked about this year. Last year when we came in, there was a real negative vibe about no one knew what was going on, and the energy was pretty negative. And I think this year what's amazing is people are talking about growth. People are talking about innovation again. I think people feel like they've been through the worst, and they're trying to figure out what's the opportunity when growth comes back. And frankly, that's a, that's a breath of fresh air. So can you talk about some of the innovations you've introduced through your portfolio of brands in the past year? Yeah, sure. I mean, I'd say um, one of the big, I don't know if you call it an innovation, but it's a great consumer value proposition has been our reduction of fees, removal of fees for both booking online uh, and also now we announce no fees on the telephone. You can call us and you can book for free, which has been a, a great kind of consumer win. Um, one other innovation that most people won't see around here is in Japan, we've introduced a great package feature where we're combining our package hotel rates with opaque air rates and also transfers to what we call skeleton packages in Japan. The Japanese consumer is more used to booking packages than standalone and we think it'll be a nice product for a very, very big market. Expedia is the market leader, certainly in the U.S., but you still maintain that spirit of innovation um, along all of your business lines, certainly Expedia Media Solutions, constantly yeah. introducing new products. How do you keep your team sort of energized and not willing to rest on their laurels? Well, uh, competition. And internally, there's a competition who can come up with a cool new thing. The teams are independent, so we don't introduce a lot of bureaucracy. And uh, you know, it's up to you to succeed. And we empower people to come up with ideas. Most of the ideas that that media group come up, comes up with, they don't even tell me about. They don't have to come to me with approval. Um, it's essentially they're running their own business. And I'm constantly surprised by the stuff that they do, and I love it. Your competitors have announced a sort of slew of price guarantees and all kinds of rules yeah. and potential refunds and all that stuff. And Expedia doesn't seem to have dipped its toe in the yeah. water yet. Could, do you care to comment on price guarantees? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't think it's a guarantee if you only get paid if someone else books the same exact itinerary. We've run the numbers. That happens 5% of the time. And we take our brand very seriously. I'm not gonna call a guarantee uh, something a guarantee when it's not a guarantee. So thinking now about Travelocity's product where the consumer goes out, finds a screenshot, so we don't necessarily have to have another consumer booking that same product on Travelocity. Do you have any specific opinion on that? Well, I think it's that's a better product, but we don't wanna make the consumer work. We're pretty simple, which is you book with us no fee, you can cancel with us no fee. So if you find a better price elsewhere, you want to cancel with us, that's fine. You can go elsewhere. We're, we don't want it to be gimmicky, and we think it's pretty simple that way. Let's talk about Europe. You know, you've certainly had some very stiff competition from booking. Um, what's it been like this year, and how do you think next year is going to shift out? Do you think you might actually lose your top spot in Europe? Uh, well, we'll see. Booking.com is a very, very tough competitor. Uh, and we think that with the uh, introduction of the Expedia Easy Manage product with uh, the agency hotel product, I think we set ourselves up for a nice stage of growth on a go-forward basis. Booking's always going to be tough, and we think competition makes us better. 